Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you eight of my top floral arranging tips and tricks. In this, I will include tips, not just around how to make a pretty floral arrangement, but also how to keep them alive for as long as possible. Before we get into today's video, if you're new here, my name is Kirsty and welcome to my little community. If you haven't already, I would love if you could hit that subscribe button down below. That way you should get notifications whenever I post a new video, which is generally around once a week. If you love having fresh flowers around your home as much as I do, then you're probably always looking for ways on how to get them to last as long as possible. Whether they're homegrown or store-bought, it's always so disappointing to see them fade in a matter of days. I personally, in the warmer months, love growing my own cut flower garden, particularly for really big blooms such as dinner plate dahlias. So I've done quite a bit of experimentation on how to get my flowers to last as long as possible, especially when I've put so much work into growing these beautiful blooms. So my first tip is to make sure you cut your stems on an angle. Before beginning any arrangement, make sure to use either a sharp knife or a sharp pair of kitchen shears to trim the stems of your flowers. And then depending on the size of the vase you're going to use for your arrangement, make sure to shorten them appropriately as well. In fact, in my experimenting, I've actually found that blooms with really large heads last better when their stems are cut shorter. And my theory with this is just that it's the distance the water has to travel up the stem to nourish the head of the bloom. Tip number two is to use floral preserver whenever you change the water in your vase. And you should be refreshing the water in your vase at least every couple of days. Most store-bought floral arrangements come with those little packets of floral preserver. So that's a really good way to get your hands on some. Or you can do what I do and buy it in bulk from Amazon. Because I grow my own flowers in the garden, they don't come with little packets of flower preservers, so I kind of need to have my own on hand. And it still works out cheaper in the long run. My third tip is to remove as many leaves as possible from the stems of your flowers. I don't necessarily remove all of the leaves. I like to leave a couple up by the bloom for looks. However, leaves steal water from your blooms. So when the water is traveling up the stem, it's gonna nourish all of the leaves it meets on the way before it, meet, it gets to the bloom. Also make sure that there are never leaves below the water level in your vase because those will rot and cause your blooms to fade faster. Tip number four is a trick I like to use when I'm trying to get some flower buds to open faster. And that is to put them in a bucket of warm water, not boiling, for a couple of hours to get them to encourage the bloom to open. Warmth, heat, sunlight, those things, those are what encourage blooms to open. Tip number five is to recut your stems regularly. So over time, the cut on your stems will seal up due to bacteria and that will stop the stem sucking up water. So every couple of days you want to go in and re-trim the stems on your flowers um, and use that opportunity as well to refresh the water in your vase. This will keep the stems accepting water and make your blooms last longer. As far as my tip on the floral arranging front, that is to use texture and minimize color. So while arrangements of a single type of flower are beautiful, such as really large arrangements of tulips and things like that, one of the ways that I like to arrange flowers is to mix up the variety and the texture of flowers I'm using, but keep the different colors in the arrangement to a minimum. So as an example, I might arrange my dinner plate dahlias with the smaller bloom of a ranuncular and the airiness and texture of baby's breath. This creates variety and interest in the arrangement without distracting away from the beautiful blooms. Tip number seven is to keep your arrangement away from light and heat. And this is counterintuitive for some people because 
you think of a live plant and it flourishes better when it is in light and in the sun. However, cut flowers are exactly the opposite. They have reached their peak. They've reached their prime. They're at their most perfect. Once they've been cut, they no longer thrive from being in the sun and the heat. In fact, it just makes them mature and fade quicker. Also avoid placing your floral arrangements near fruits and vegetables, especially things like bananas and apples. Ripening fruit actually gives off a harmless odorless gas to humans called ethylene. However, it is not the case when it comes to your beautiful floral arrangements and ripening fruit will actually cause them to fade much faster. And my final tip is to remove the pollen from flowers before placing them in your arrangements. So when it comes to blooms like lilies, they come with things in them called anthers that the pollen is attached to. And you wanna go in and pluck the pollen from the flower before placing it in your arrangement. Because as it ages, those things will drop off and they will stain anything they land on. Additionally, if you have anybody in your home who tends to suffer from allergies, removing the anthers from flowers will actually help to minimize the reaction that those people have. However, it won't diminish the scent, the beautiful scent that your flowers give off. And as an extra little pro tip, try using a pipe cleaner to remove any excess pollen that falls from the anthers onto the petals of your bloom and going in with a pipe cleaner and just scooping it up will clean those up really nicely. So that is my eight tips for having your floral arrangements last weeks, not days. If you decide to give any of these a go, let me know in the comments down below how they work out for you. And also if you have any extras that maybe I didn't mention, also leave those down below because it would be great if we can help each other as a community. If you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you leave and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.